Hello, my friends. Hope all is well in your world. Thank God. Hallelujah! More people are awakening to the truth. Ron Paul is not a liar. Ron Paul is not a white supremacist. They are going to tell you anything and everything to get your vote. They'll tell you first off that he's unelectable. That his policies and his vision is crazy and dangerous. It's not. It actually makes a lot of sense. He wants to pull all foreign aid. That scares the crap out of many countries. That scares the crap out of bankers. He wants to bring all the troops home. No more war. Come on home. Bankers don't like that. Bankers make huge amounts of money lending. They fund wars. They also make huge amounts of money rebuilding. So after we've blown everything up, you got to rebuild it. Where's that money going to come from? And who pays for that? You do. In debt. And all these countries, the same. The sad truth is, you've got Newt Gingrich, who is a very good speaker. He is a nasty guy. He lacks moral fiber. Is he really the guy you want to be president? I'd really think about that. A guy that leaves his wife, his first wife, because she's sick, and then upgrades on his second wife, who's also not well? Come on, we can do better than that. We can. Now, Mitt Romney, my only problem with Mitt Romney is he seems to be lost in the clouds in the sense of knowing what it's like for the average American. He said something the other day along the lines of, I'm not too worried about the very rich because they can take care of themselves. And I'm not too worried about the very poor because they have a net. We've developed this net. Well, the net is welfare. And you're living on like $12 a day. That's not much of a net. That's not the American dream. But I think what he was trying to say was he was trying to get a grasp of what the middle class are doing. And they're the heartbeat of America. And they're the ones that do bring, you know, the economy up and more jobs and more prosperity. Totally agree with that. If anybody is truly a racist, it is Newt Gingrich. Really, constantly puts his foot in his mouth. Ron Paul, the good doctor, is the only one that's talking about the economy and the deficit. He's the only one that is willing to cut a trillion dollars the first year, and he's talking about balancing the budget in three. I personally don't think it can be done. I, I really don't. And the reason being is, whoever does get into the White House is just walked in to the biggest poo patty in the history of life. A giant poo patty, for sure. And let's be kind and honest to Barack Obama. He also walked into this mess. The problem is, he's just a puppet. Now, he's a great song and dance guy. He's got tons of charisma. And the American public trusted him four years ago. Ron Paul, yes. Not a great speaker. But he is a guy you can trust. And this movement makes a lot of sense if you look at it. Because the states is on the ropes. And if we don't do something right now, instead of printing money that forms these false bubbles, you know who pays for that when they print that money? You pay for that. The American public pays for that. 
You're already in crazy amounts of debt. I believe it's $15 trillion you're in debt. The days of overspending need to stop right now. Because if you don't, the country will go bankrupt. And you'll see anarchy. Oh, my Lord. Vote for change. Be part of this change. And educate the people around you to what is really going on. If you vote for Newt Gingrich or you vote for Mitt Romney, you are really getting another version of Barack Obama. If you want serious change that will help generations in the future have a better American dream and a daily standard of life, vote Ron Paul. Ron Paul is the only one that wants to limit federal government. And the days of massive spending will stop in a halt. And you will no longer be policing the world. And there will be no foreign aid at all. And that will bring an immense amount of money back into the economy where it can help the elderly, the people who are stricken in poverty. You need to really take a close look at Ron Paul. Take care. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, put a thumbs down and leave a comment. I don't believe that Ron Paul is dangerous. I believe the course that we're on is incredibly dangerous. Educate yourself first and then educate the people around you. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.